Hi, welcome to another coordination interpretation video. This is the linear 16th note triplets, part one. Access this page in your syncopation book. We did a lot of stuff with 16th notes. Now here's a, a couple ideas, actually quite a few ideas, of applying triplets, 16 triplets, to the syncopation page, where the melody suggests certain patterns to you, with the goal being to be creative through the melody. Good for exercises too, because you have to think in a horizontal, linear way, going from one measure to another, so your, cor so your corresponding coordination has to be you know, right there. Uh, the first one of the series, and there's quite a few of the 16th note triplet series. Uh, we look at the melody, of course, and the melody is gonna come out of the right hand. And this is a simple formula, but it's very uh, rich, a lot of possibilities here. I hear a lot of the whole triple jazz uh, kind of thing, Elvin Jones kind of stuff coming from this idea. I think this is, I think probably, probably part of what they might be thinking of. Uh, the formula is the first measure, you have an eighth note. You treat the eighth notes as right, left, bass. That's one eighth note count in 16 triplets. So if you had a measure of totally eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and the quarter notes are paradiddle diddles except the last note is on the bass drum one two so the paradiddle diddle phrase is paradiddle did a which right away is a jazzy Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right away, you get a jazzy idea right there. Then if there's any running involved, like a long run of no melody notes, in this idea, I'm generally playing two right hands and a left, which you'll see in the second measure. So here's the first measure. One, and... And three, four, one, and, and three, four. Notice this idea, like a lot of other ones that I've given you, the melody is more like a code that kind of suggests some things to you. Like you don't really overtly hear that melody coming out of your playing, but it's kind of at the background of your mind, you know. My thought is you know, like the melody is the most important thing and jazz is, uh, you know, most popular music is eighth note based, you know, quarter note and eighth note based. So these are good springboards, I think, for creativity as part of the whole top-down drumming philosophy. So here's the first melody again. One and, and three, four. One and, and three, four. One and, and three, four. With all these 16 triplets ideas, be sure you long meter them and also play them in eighth note triplets. So every measure would be two measures of eighth note triplets. The first measure, one, two, three, four, 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 there are lots of variations to this idea. Uh, each one of these 16 triplet pages, most of them will probably have uh, variations. So check out the variations for part one. I've not recorded them yet, but I will be. So here's the first measure again. One and three. Like I said, it's great for the jazz thing. And three, four. Long metering it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, Right. 
right there is kind of cool actually it's also good for 16th note triplets around the drums that kind of thing one and three Melody one and and three four one and and three four. You can imagine that around the tom toms and stuff. The second measure has that little gap there from between the quarter note and the and of three. And you can see how you're playing some kind of right, right, lefts as you run. One, two, and, and. One, two, and. Hear that? One, two, da, 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 and. Kind of a shuffle. One, two, and, and. One, two, and. Eighth note triplets. One, one, two, and one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, Sometimes you can have the hi-hat replacing the foot. Some possibilities for halftime shuffle kind of grooves. The third measure. One, two, three, and, and one, two, three, and, and one, two, one, two, three, and, and 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 one, two, three, and. Hi hat instead. One and two, three, and one, 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 two, three, and a lot of possibilities. The fourth measure has a fairly long gap at the end. 
One, two, and three. One, two, three. Long metering it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Sixteen triplets. One and and three. One and and three. One and and three. I have stepping. Drum set oriented tom tom, you know. Here's the whole line. I'll kind of sing out the melody. One and and three, four, one, two, and and one, two, three, and and one, and and three. Long metering it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, two, three, four. A lot of stuff going on there, definitely. And it really it's not that hard. Like here's a say three lines. One and and three four one two and and one two three and and one and and three one and and three and and one two and and four and and three four and and three Line. 
the top line is a jazzy thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, kind of between bass and hi-hat. Soloistically, of course, it's good. I would suggest a good goal to have would be maybe... If you can get it up to like 120, 16 triplets, that's pretty good. Third line. Which is that's fairly fast, of course. That's a great technical exercise too. And then like all these ideas I give you, you can easily play them in a non meter by adding a quarter note or subtracting something. First measure, you know, one and two and three and four and five and and three and four, five and two five and Okay, that's your first idea for linear 16 triplets. That's a pretty rich idea. So I'd definitely spend some time with that in any kind of meter and try to play straight through, up and down, etc., etc. Try to be creative, think in a horizontal way. That's a good book of material for jazz type playing and also for you know soloistic ideas right there. That's the first one, linear 16 triplets part one. I'll see you next time with part two.